In Polk County, another big story in our area where several communities are still reeling after an EF3 tornado touched down on Wednesday night. Three people were killed and more than 170 homes destroyed. The focus there has now turned to recovery. And as we have seen Texans do so many times, people are putting aside their own pain to help others. Our Hannah McKenzie back in on Alaska tonight with those survivor stories. Hannah? Domini Chris, I'm in the Yopon Cove neighborhood. It's one of the hardest hit neighborhoods in the area and looking around, it is really hard to believe that only three people lost their lives in this tornado. The sheer wrath of this storm completely obliterating every house we are surrounded by right now. But even after all this destruction and devastation, every single person I have spoken with today has told me they aren't just going to rebuild. They are going to grow from this. A community beaten, not broken. On Alaska residents banding together in this time of need. The community has really come together to help out. It's a really neat deal. The Garland Park Pavilion now serving as a one-stop shop for those hardest hit by the tornado. The community help and support that we're getting, it's great. It's wonderful. How are you guys impacted? Are you okay? Is everything? I lost my house. Everything. Yeah, it's gone. Water, hot meals, hygiene products, all donated and distributed by volunteers. Just separating it and getting it ready for people to come in and pick up as they need it. Two 18 wheelers rolling up with 55,000 bottles of water donated by Niagara. This is it here, so hopefully this is going to be able to help the community out a little bit. A triage center set up for injured and lost pets. Well, we've had calls for large animals from donkeys to sheep, goats, all the way down to hedgehogs, chickens, cats. Even this little cutie, whose name should perhaps be Lucky. This animal was uh, picked up in a tornado and thrown across the other side of the lake, and they brought it in today, and so we're hoping to find the owner of this, this puppy. Down the road, free grief counseling being offered out of Pine Forest Baptist Church. Everybody's sort of in shock. Let us um, help you work through it before you know, you internalize it and it, it becomes more of a problem in other areas. Troubling times made more bearable thanks to neighbors and the kindness of strangers. It's great to be able to help and to ease some of the pain and give people some uh, comfort. Now, just before this newscast, I was speaking with a man from the American Red Cross, and he tells me they're currently housing 120 families from this area in area hotels. He anticipates that number to skyrocket within the next few days. He also told me he heard about the numbers that have been let out by the county. They said 173 homes in the Onalaska area have been destroyed. He said that's hard to believe, considering his survey crew today alone counted more than 200 uninhabitable homes in this Yopan Cove neighborhood alone. So very realistic numbers there, and we're definitely going to have to see how this all boils out within the next few weeks. Reporting live in Alaska, Hannah McKenzie, KPRC Channel 2 News.